Hi, welcome to this very quick presentation on how to join data very easily with a very simple method and also get qualified for nearly new 11 professions. Very good paying professions, you can quickly uh, learn and get into it. So in this post, in this post, I'm going to describe a very, very simple and powerful method to join data from multiple spreadsheets. Spreadsheets are the starting point for many people uh, who are using Microsoft Office or LibreOffice or whatever. So sp from spreadsheets, you can easily um, join multiple sheets, like using using multiple, like I will start from the scratch, I'm sorry. In this post, I'm going to describe a very simple and powerful method to join data from multiple spreadsheets using just plain English-like statements, also called SQL language, and avoiding very complex lookups, V lookup functions of spreadsheets. So this we will do it. Let us get started now. Step one, save your spreadsheet as a CSV type file. So this is easy, uh, anybody knows about it, so I'm not going to demonstrate that. Step two, download this free, wonderful, portable and easy software just only once. So this uh, link I will give in the description box below. This is SQL browser, SQLite, sqlitebrowser.org. In that there will be a download option, you can download it. And then once you download, start and open the SQLite browser program. If you have an, in, if you download an installer, then, then get it installed first and then only open. Otherwise, if it is just a portable, uh, portable setup, portable program file, you are downloaded from that site, you just open it. Start and open the SQLite bro browser program downloaded in step two. So this step you are downloaded, now you start the program. Now uh, step four is click the new database option from its file menu. Now let's, let me know, let me take you through the demo instead of uh, reading out the steps. I will, in fact, I'll close it and start from the scratch. So I just press F4 here. You can, this is on Mac. So Windows, you can, you have the start button, you'll press it and open the QuickTime player, quick, the, open the DB browser program, DB browser for SQLite program. This is a wonderful program. It has so much of power it gives you and that too in a very portable program. So wonderful, so you will all enjoy it. Just watch through the steps I'm going to demonstrate now. So after I opened the program, first time you will have to click the either the new database button here or use the file menu and click the new database button. I'll say sample, sample underscore database. Sample database and I will save it in my downloads area or whatever. So sample database and click save. It gets created and also it shows you an edit table definition dialog box. So this dialog box, you quickly cancel it. Cancel it, I'm not going to go through that method. I'm going to uh, show you much easier methods than that. And of course you can recommend this method to any lay person also who is not knowledgeable in databases and very less knowledge in spreadsheets. They also can perform this very easily. So it's so easy. So now once I canceled that table dialog box that popped up, I'm going to use file menu and import option. And in import option, I'm going to choose table from CSV file. You can see this table from CSV file option. I'm going to choose it and open my folder where which contained the CSV files, which I just exported from Expo, uh, Excel. So I'm going to open that uh, program, that folder. And in this, I've got two CSV files, department.csv and employee.csv. I'm going to import one by one. So open the department.csv. So it says table name, do you want it as department? Okay, I'm okay with it. Column names in first line, yes. I have the headings in the first line, so I'll tick yes. Field separator is comma, quote character is double quotes. This all you can even, you don't need to change it generally unless you have kept a different field separator and different quote character. Then UTF-8 is okay. Trim fields, it will unless it will clean up all the extra spaces on either side. I think this is also okay. Advance, you can check it in case if you want it. And it is nicely showed how it's going to import it. I click OK. My department table gets imported nicely. Then again, I repeat the steps. File import table from CSV file. And then import the next CSV file. I'm going to take only two CSV files for a join purpose. 
but of course you are welcome to import as many CSVs and as you want and later in later on query or join all these tables together for a very co even complex reports so very easy SQL language is so wonderful language so English like language that anybody can master it in no time I will also give you the download link to this entire folder so that you can enjoy the cheat sheets the sample database I've kept here and the CSV files you can try it so now let me go through the employee.csv file again I uh, I don't need to repeat that it is going to import this data into the database I click OK now both my tables are ready department and employee you can right click and see what are all the options each one has okay now the thing is thing about us we have got the two tables ready you can have as many as you want imported but now let me go through the presentation notes and tell you the steps next steps I will paste all these steps in the description box below so that you can again review it if you, if I miss out anything also I will paste it so I go through the presentation notes now now I am ready with the I have already done the two imports I'm just going to execute a query so that it joins two tables together and retrieves all my uh, important information. So this query says, show me the full name, role and department name of employees who where the department IDs are matching in both tables. This is what it does. So it's very easy. So now I go in, I, this is the database structure I'm in, but I'll click the execute SQL and paste the SQL I copied and uh, in case if I need to edit it I can edit it and then click the play button immediately the full results come in no in a very flash of a second the full results come I can press control I can click here press control A or command A whatever and then copy the entire results right click it and copy copy with headers I'll choose copy with headers headings and then paste it back into my spreadsheet that's it so easy I'll paste it one small hitch is this color of the font of the data is slightly invisible because I think it's in white color so you just need to change your color to automatic and the data gets visible there's one small bug in this program currently probably they will fix it in a future version but I really appreciate the wonderful developers of this program who hands over so much of power to us even lay people can do SQL querying very easily okay so now you got your data now Mm, and uh, I you can if I want you to explain this I think I will uh, this is easy English like thing you can join n number of tables n number of columns and display n number of uh, resulting columns in this this you can do it you can Google query for even uh, complex joins or multiple table joins etc etc Google will really help you out I just my wish is to tell you this wonderful program about this program and give you a sample testing that's all otherwise you go and query Google for multiple table joins and see how they do it you will learn plenty of it in this and also from my cheat sheets that I'm giving you I mean I uh, I'm uh, I thank uh, learnsql.com who has given this nice cheat sheets this is courtesy of them thank you very much and uh, anything else let's see so that's it I think I covered most of the things uh, I will give you the download links to my entire folder so you can download and benefit and here are some of the professions that commonly use this wonderful SQL language SQL stands for structured query language which is the database uh, which is the uh, language used to query or or whatever do whatever you want to do with the relational databases many many types of relation databases use SQL so one language is enough for you to handle so many different types of databases and here are the people who use it database administrators data analysts data scientists software developers business analysts data engineers business intelligence analysts BA analysts marketing analysis web developers system administrators researchers so so many different professions use this for the data analyzing purpose it's so powerful language to do various from simple to complex querying you can do it once you get the data imported into the database of course and this is most user friendly and easiest tool I've given you uh, the SQLite uh, SQLite browser uh, of course I, I think I have given you this 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 is fully called as DB browser for SQLite so this is the program we are using 
Okay, so that's it. So share this wonderful post slash video with your friends and contacts so that they can benefit as well. And also don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.